presentation, 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 and then question and answer time kind of together for future SMOFCON years. Um, so moving forward to 17, we have any bidders for 17? I believe there's one. Yeah. Uh, who's coming up to speak for them? Actually, I'm interested in the 17 or 18. Okay, let's deal with the 17 specifically first. Okay. All right. All right, 17 specifically, who are you? Uh, Jim Mann, and we're bidding for Boston in 2017. Uh, the, bid, the bid is sponsored by MCFI. I will be the chair. Many of the other details we're still, wor we're still working out, but what I can say at this point is, is that we're aiming at somewhere in the downtown Boston area. We've begun talking with hotels. Uh, we're aiming at the traditional SMOFCON first weekend in December, which for 2017 is the earliest possible time of December 1 through 3rd. Oh, no, no, December 1st is the Friday. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can't read a calendar. Okay. But, but uh, be, be beyond, beyond that, as I said, Downtown Boston area, we plan to be in a rest an area where a lot of restaurants are around, uh, good hotel space, et cetera. Um, more details next year. Okay. All right. Are we good? We're good. Okay. So moving on to, we'll go to 17, maybe 18. You have three minutes. Who are you, 17, maybe 18? Go. Hello, I'm Warren Buff. I'm standing up for Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we are looking at 17, 17 or 18 for Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, really, it'll depend on when we can get better deals out there, and uh, presumably we'll, we'll talk to the other folks interested in 17 and 18 and, and see if there are ways to work it out uh, so that we are not overlapping tremendously. Uh, Charlotte has changed a lot since the last time someone got up in front of you and, and tried to sell it to you. Uh, up, it is uptown Charlotte, uh, not downtown. Uh, the, ho the hotel and uh, restaurant situation down there is greatly improved from, uh, if you remember back in the days of Irv bidding for Charlotte. Uh, there's a lot down there. The light rail is drawing people in. They want to be there. The food is good. Uh, Charlotte is a, the, okay, fine. The barbecue is not as good as my hometown in Raleigh, but it's still good. Uh, the, Less uh, from there, the audience, there, please. The, uh, the, the light rail, you know, really has drawn everybody in and you know, Charlotte, sorry, Charlotte Douglas is a major international hub. Uh, it was US Air, now it's American Airlines, thanks to the merger. Uh, it should be easy to get to from just about anywhere in the US, relatively easy from Europe or Latin America. Uh, you know, it is a good place to get to now, and uh, I would love to see you all there. Thank you. All right, moving forward, do we have a uh, bidder for 18 specifically for SMOFCON? I see, I see somebody coming from the back of the room. Bobby, Leah, Patty, Jenny, yep. Bruce. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hello. 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 Okay. So, you have Three minutes, go. Uh, this is a bid for the 1918, 1918. <laughs> it's the, it's the retro SMOF card. <laughs> 2018 for the wine country in Northern California, beautiful downtown Santa Rosa. Uh, at the, we have a hotel, the Flamingo Hotel. We have, we have, thank you. We have uh, uh, rates at $129 uh, single double with a triple quad at $10 per person uh, for it. And wine country is a wonderful place to be. We have 
We have a committee. It will be led by the, the highly estimable Bruce Farr with several other people who, many of whom are, yes. Woo, Bruce. Many reimbursements by the end of September. <laughs> Yay. This will also include Bobby Armbruster, Joni Brill Dashoff, Linda Denneroff, who is there, I didn't see her behind Bruce, Adrian Foster, Anne-Marie Rudolph, and some woman named Patty Welts. Uh, and our site is the beautiful Santa Rosa, California, in the heart of wine country. Only one hour north, yes. north of San Francisco. Boy, I am geographically challenged, in case you didn't know this. And on 1222, oh, wait. Two days ago. Two, two days, days ago, ago it, the temperature was 62 degrees Fahrenheit for the high, and only a low of 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Lovely weather. Guaranteed not to snow. Okay, so as Bobby said, the tentative site is, sorry, as Bobby said, the tentative site is the Flamingo Conference uh, Resort and Spa. And for those of us who do look at Expedia rating, it's four out of five, 90% of guests recommend it. Okay, go ahead, next slide, please. The hotel uh, has spa services, a pool and jacuzzi. It has a restaurant that does specials on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, and uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Reserve space was four breakout rooms, one ballroom, and a hospitality suite. It's serviced by Oakland and San Francisco airports, an hour and 15 minutes away. And the Charles Schultz Airport is Alaska Airlines only. If you're coming into Oakland, there's a wonderful shuttle that is $32 each way and has Wi-Fi and comfy seats. All right, that is time. Thank you, everyone. All right. Is there anybody else for 2018? Seeing none, moving on. But just noting that there's this certain possibility of a European SmartCon bid coming out for 2018. I'm gonna need to find some people to actually run it, and there's this little thing. <laughs> I'm going to waste your time to say you're awfully good at getting other people to do your shit work. <laughs> See, in this case, I'm raising the bar on myself. You're second only to me in that one, I think. <laughs> See, the, the tricky part in this case is that if there's going to be a European 2018 Worldcon bid... Smothcon. What did I say? Oh, yeah, yeah, not doing that one again for a while. <laughs> Smartcon bid for 2018. Um, it's going to be way more fun to make it happen somewhere that's not on the British Isles or Ireland or Finland or even near the Baltic. So really the uh, fan groups I'm considering to volunteer for this are <laughs> the, the Spanish in Barcelona. Um, the, the Croatians, either in Zagreb or on the, on the uh, Adriatic coast, or then um, the, uh, the place that's now been um, actually fundamentally decided is a part of Europe and not a part of North America, also known as Reykjavik in Iceland. <laughs> so, you know, something might happen. I, I've got to talk to a couple of people to let them know about this possibility first. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the, the, I want to, to go on with the previous lines of this. Wherever on this, you know, small geological place we might be in, the weather's going to be sunny, of course. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you. All right. That was 2018. If, if it's, we can have in Reykjavik 
you know, full on programming from sunrise until sunset. <laughs> and it's not <laughs> and it's not going to have an impact on your social life. So now, um, moving on, is there a SMOFCON bid for 2019 that happens to be in the room? All right, uh, please step up. You have three minutes. Tell us who you are, go. Uh, Michael Nelson, uh, the Baltimore Washington Area Science Fiction uh, Association has- Baltimore Washington World Town. Baltimore Washington Area World Town. Okay, uh, so we've decided in our third quarter meeting that we would like to host the SMOFCON in 2019. Uh, of course, at this time it's very preliminary. We are going to approach uh, the hotel we were going to use for uh, a, ho a Worldcon bid that we ran, that uh, we lost. The uh, Marriott Warden Park. We love the Marriott Warden Park and they love us. They have five presidential suites very enormous presidential suites, uh, who, which have full kitchens in that they have a full-size refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, microwave, all the, all the fixings. And uh, this year, 2016, uh, everything's being, all the furniture's being replaced and renovated. They're getting rid of the uh, baby grand pianos and replacing them with grand pianos. So we're going to approach them and see if we can get a good price. If not, we will be looking uh, in downtown DC for a hotel, which gives us the best bang for the best buck, uh, best room rate, best location, best function space, and so forth. But you know, that's all we have to do. That we'll we'll have more information next year. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right, I, I think 2019. Okay. So, you have a while 15 back. 15 seconds. Havana 2025. <laughs> Location, the U.S. Embassy. Uh, there's a Burger King in it. It'll work. Time. Okay, the very, very important question is I need to know the hockey situation in each of your cities in December because hockey is the best sport ever. <laughs> Somebody start, start and end. By hockey situation, well, Boston has the Boston Bruins. Is that enough? I, we, we don't know the schedule yet. <laughs> All right. You're asking the Pittsburgher that question. The Penguins are my team, not the Bruins. I spell that one. You can go see a Pats game instead. Oh, boo. I don't know if there's a minor league hockey team in Albuquerque at this point or not, or what there would be there by the time we might have a con. And, and for Santa Rosa, in the HL stands for no hockey league. Sorry. Charlotte has the Checkers, a minor league team. Sorry, our major league teams in Raleigh. Charlotte's got the better airport. On behalf of all of Europe, on average, no, but possibly yes. <laughs> Havana would like to promise Tim that we'll try to pull off a miracle on ice. I don't know if DC has a hockey team or not. Charles Schultz. All right. do, 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 do. Moving on to the next question. Parking rates. What are the parking the rates that we're looking at for being in your region? Yes. <laughs> Free thank you to the state. <laughs> no idea. We are looking at uptown rates probably somewhere in the 10 to $25 range. Uh, obviously, that's going to depend on to actually talking to the facilities to get. It's going to depend upon the facility. Ours is going to be certainly higher than that if you park at the facility. The Boston rates tend to be somewhere in the low 30s, if I'm remembering right. But there are also lots that are nearby that you can save on that, as well as we will work out ability for parking at like the tea lots and you can tea in, which I've done for world cons. Santa Rosa, no cost for parking. I believe it would be no cost for parking. Okay. Um, 
And then we're going to move on to the specific questions that we have for a couple of the bids. Uh, I'll start with one that I have for uh, Boston. Um, when Boston was announced uh, last year, uh, it said that it had the support of several area convention groups, including Regia, Boscon, and ReaderCon. Uh, was that meaning official uh, support from those groups or that you had members of those groups as part of your staff? Actually, that's not what we said. What okay. we said last year was that it was a small group of us who were going to go back and ask for the support of MCFI, which we did, and MCFI voted to support the bid. Uh, we want to get the support and, and, and help from all of those groups, but okay. we'd, the, we'd never claim that. Fair enough. That, 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 uh, elaborating on that was the question, and you have elaborated. Um, moving on to... Uh, Someone's asking, what's, Barcelona. Yeah, what's the likelihood of Barcelona being a European SMOFCON, and would Catalan's secession have any impact on that? <laughs> I added the last part, but... I'm going to go with yes on this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next for Albuquerque. Okay. Will the theme for Albuquerque be no left turns? That sounds like a good theme to me. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, then we had one more. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, Some Afghan 17, I don't, the I, Corkage I that's waiver, a fair you don't know that? This year. Okay. I, I, that's, that's a question for next year at the earliest, anyway. Um, okay. Uh, then finally, the last question is Are you willing to dance to be the seat of the World Con? Oh, yeah. Demonstrate. Dance monkeys dance. Monkey dance, dance. dance. They're seated SMOFCON. Seat of SMOFCON. <laughs> Let's have a dance. Okay. No, no, no. I, I, I vote for the MC5 president to come up and dance for us. Then all right. Then, then. And with that, I, I, thank, I thank all the bidders and I discharge you. Oh, no, we have one more question. Can people repeat what years they are running? Okay. Well, okay, so we're going to go back through the years that we're talking about. So we're talking about 17 for Boston and 17 or 18 for Charlotte, 18 for wine country, uh, 18 possibly for anywhere in fucking Europe that Emily finds crazy people. Anywhere in Europe that you find crazy people? No, just parts of it. There we go. Um, 19 for uh, DC and 19 for someplace socialist. 2025 for someplace socialist. And Albuquerque Possibly and. Not socialist by that yeah, yes. and, and what year for what year for Albuquerque? Yeah. yeah. And possibly any of 9,000 years for Albuquerque with no left turns. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a seat.